All right. Well, we last left off. Uh, Nancy just got in, got in deep with the the big sharks in Venice. We won Scopa, ladies and gentlemen. But and that's we true. are the card sharks. We are still hungry. Yeah. So we we need the next big steal, is what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, our Scopa compatriot, a man named Enrico Tazza, told us that he would really appreciate it if we stole the Sadel Malik Sapphire for him, which is a bit of a tall order, but. Our FBI informant, or TGI, whatever they, they say they are, <laughs> they say that they're good, they're, it's okay we do it, because it was already stolen. So whoever we're stealing it from is not the rightful owner anyways. So basically that makes it okay. That's a good justification. I, I guess so. Also, these are still here? I guess Nobody's you know, the hasn't these? eaten them, though. Are mm. we still on the same day? Have we not slept in this game yet? No, we haven't, actually. Wow, so I guess these chocolates are still good. <laughs> Not stale yet. Probably smelting out in the sun like that. Okay, how do we go about smuggling a priceless sapphire? I don't know. Uh, I think we have an address now, so we might be able to case the joint when we're ready. And I think that TGI Friday's Sophia said that she would let us... There it is. All contact with me would be discreet. Oh, no. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Is that how it works? Yeah, here we go. In order to get in good with Enrico Tazza, I have to steal the Sadal Malik Sapphire for him. He says it's kept at the Palazzo Zateri, and I'm going to need the help of someone named Gina to pull it off. We don't know who Gina is yeah, yet. Yeah, it I was just a conversation that. topic to ask who Gina was, and we're just like, ah, Gina. Yeah, of course. So, yes, I know everything. I'll leave you don't to worry about writing. it. I just kind of wanted Schuss. to check in with the characters real quick to make Schuss. sure. Schuss. Hello, Nancy. I need to get no? going. Ah, we know our objective. Okay, so this is <laughs> this is the heist episode, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, okay. So should we? I guess Hello, we'll head to the place. I just want wow, really nothing to, to talk about. Bathing. First, see if we can go to the bed. Hello, Nancy. Oh my goodness, that hitbox is small. Oh, there's no way to turn around. Okay. Yeah, if you're on the bottom of the screen, there. That's rough. Okay. Yeah, I would be curious to see if we can't go to bed, but I doubt it, since we've just been given such an intense mission. Okay. That's the That's... non-bedroom. Yep. They're two identical. Okay, Nancy's is the one on the left. It's too early it's to go to bed. No, it's still too early for you, Nancy. Of course. All right. So, if we're going to be putting together this job, first thing we got to do is we got to get some heist clothes. Mm -hmm. And I think I know what you know what that means. <laughs> is it Campo San Polo? Is that the market? Dun, 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 <laughs> yeah, that's the place. Okay. Club Michio. Okay. Uh, this is the reason I don't like this game. When you think you're ready, put the cat suit on and get on stage. If you're good enough, I don't think this is how clubs work. What do you know? <laughs> okay, oh, I, what do I know? Not here for the edition, beat it. I also okay. just hate the way this guy talks. I like this, though. Yeah, the Plague Doctor mask. So, dance instructions. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so this puzzle sucks. Basically, Nancy's gonna get up on stage in a skin-tight leather cat suit and dance for strangers in a foreign country. And in order to do this right, they will let us keep the stupid Anne Hathaway Catwoman suit... <laughs> if we do the right dance moves and basically there's audio cues that we need to do to do the why did they put this in this game i can't even explain this with a straight face <laughs> <laughs> so when you hear the bell click click on the thing uh-oh yes okay this is a good <laughs> this is a good time to mention that julian and i actually had our <laughs> headphone jack break this morning so we are actually playing the game with the audio coming out of our monitor which means it's very very quiet so that an echo doesn't appear in the court in the recording uh, uh okay so I in short we can't hear any of this <laughs> we're gonna have to like use intense hearing okay you know what? i'm gonna turn it up a little bit pardon the slight echo for this puzzle try it now okay that's okay. the monkey that's the Okay, that one sounds like claps. But it's... Okay, that's the cheer. Oh, Karina. That's my favorite one. The Sea Kid. Nancy about to hit the gritty. The Fens? The Fens. Okay. Easy. The buzzer is the robot. That's actually really easy to do. The bob is the one where it looks like you're drowning, and it's when a siren is going off. 
at some laser tag shit. So do we need a certain percentage of accuracy? Yeah, I think you gotta get like at least 70% right or something. Oh god. I'm already forgetting all these. Should we just throw ourselves out there and see how we do? Yeah. Okay, okay. We have- it's two brains are better than one in this. Six, seven, eight. Okay, wait for the first sound. Okay, what's it gonna be? Oh wait, is she currently doing the dance move? Is that- No, that's it. Siren, siren. No, you don't want to keep on clicking on stuff. Wait. Listen for sound cues. Lasers. Lasers. That's the buzzer. <laughs> uh, buzzer. The green one. That was the... <laughs> now you don't hit the buzzer in time. Oh, Karina. Oh, Karina. I can't believe they made Paw do this. Oh Whistle! Okay. Sorry for the lack of commentating, I'm just too laser focused right now. Clap. Oh. What the hell are you talking about? I didn't hear anything. It's the... Uh, what lasers, lasers, lasers. Is that not lasers? Oh boy. Get off the stage. Bro. Oh my god. We've been booed off stage. Even think about taking that costume with you. So is is that what this is? If you dance well enough, you get a free carnival costume. Okay. I never heard that. It, it, was, it really blended in with the beat. Whistle. Whistle is... Just blue. a whistle. That one's easy. Okay, that's robot. Oh, there's a color cue, too. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. God, the color's gonna be hard to find. Okay. 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 Let's do it again and look for the color cues, too. <sighs> it's a new song. I didn't know there was more than one song. Green, green. I don't think so. What the? What does that mean then? Jamie. Oh, it's teal. I didn't see it hard enough. Terrible. Robot. What? Th that's just a noise. It's not one of the things. Uh, Where's up? Uh. What is your problem, you creepy club owner? Wait, that's Ocarina, right uh, now. Uh. What the? Siren. I don't think so. That's the buzzer, Julian! I'm trying to restart it, Jameson. <laughs> oh, Wait, it's not restarting? No. Can you back Terrible. up? <laughs> Terrible. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I thought if the bar just ran out, it would restart us. This is going to take forever. Oh, our skills are required for a job. Okay, you know what? It's my turn. Time for my lightning fast hands to not click the buzzer. And five, Let's do it! Six, seven, eight. Okay. Put me in there, coach. Nice. Collapse, we got him. Is that one of them? You're awful! What? Okay, apparently it was. Wonderful! Good. That's two in a row. You're actually doing good. I need to tighten it up. It's a little slow. I thought that was fast. Watch for the colors. Okay. Just okay. Mm. Oh, come on. Bro. They're so hard for the colors. I don't think what? so. Good. What senior detective does to an MF? Yes. Bravissima. Okay. It's way easier to just go by the colors. Uh, cut, cut, I don't. Cut. 
I don't know if the color's Wait. always there. And no. don't even think about taking that costume with you. Okay, we were close. So and five, six, you got two tries, it's my turn for my second try. Come on. Okay. Nice. Good start. This feels like a Rick and Morty. No, it's. Getting there. Which one is that? It's just a new beat. Is it? Yeah. That was hard. Easy to miss. Yeah. Not this right. We got it! We got it! So take that costume home and practice. Oh god, what a horrible puzzle with minimal hearing. Uh, Nancy? 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 What a horrible puzzle Forget all around. It. From now on, your name's, Punchy uh, LaRue. Punchy. Punchy LaRue. But... Next? <laughs> Alright, that's, that's yeah. all we needed. Let's go to the bank and see if our agents have any drop-off stuff for us. And we're never coming back here, right? For the rest I, of the game. I don't think we ever have to go back to that club. Is it Santa Maria or Del Ferrari? I think Piazza San Marco is actually where the uh, bank drop-off is. Ooh, we can also go to Zateri now if we want to check that out. Wait. That's where the that's where the job's going down. Where's the bank drop-off? No. The bank drop-off is Piazza San Marco down here. Ah. Uh. Well, let's check out Zateri on the way. Mm-mm-mm. Do 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 Got to case the joint. All right. Seems we need a code of sorts. Oh, don't we have a? Is this the safe room that oh, they were changing be. the lock to? Was it a was it a six digit number? Oh, that was that was a six digit combination, wasn't it? I think it was a yeah. five digit number we got. Interesting. Well, we've seen the place now. Let's go to Piazza San Marco. Mm, 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 mm. I'm pretty sure Sophia mm, said leave mm, Gina mm, to me. Right. I need a off? card. Bonca de loro. Mm, 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 mm. God, this, can you tell what's her card? That cat suit looks so creepy in her inventory. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Nothing to pick up. No pickup. Maybe we should give Sophia a call real quick. I'm pretty sure All Juango right. sent his trained pigeon out with another message. Ah. Do you want me to track it? No. Perhaps Pazza sent the pigeon back to him saying he never got the first message. The one we intercepted. So perhaps Juango is sending the first message again. If we intercept this one too, it could make them suspicious. Okay by That's me. That's a big Just brain play. You know. Good Ciao. job. That's interesting that they put that dialogue in. That is pretty thorough. Mm-hmm. Okay, we still don't know who Gina is, though. Is there anything no, in our observation not. that says something about that? No. <sighs> We're just taking laps. Let me check out the observations. Is there anything we need here? No, I think we've got all the costume shop stuff. No new observations. Apparently Samantha Quick knows who Gina is, but I sure don't. So we can't start the heist yet? Maybe. Go put on the cat suit. You gotta change back in Nancy's dorm. That's a good point. <laughs> this is some next level stuff for Nancy here. 
This is like almost the Nancy villain arc. Do I do Bruno or Remi Remindo? Oh no, we don't have the money for it, please. Fine. And yes, we do. We would just be broke after it. If you can't afford something twice, you can't afford it once. Whoa! What's happening here? Oh. Flower petals. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Nancy! I thought you were gonna miss that. Jesus! That was so close! Wow, I wonder if we know anyone who likes to hang out on the roof of this palazzo. What the hell was that? Margarita! You sunburnt banana. Oh my god. Where are you? You look upset. Explain and yourself. Fell off the roof and almost hit me as I was coming in. It fell from this roof? Mava! The edge of the roof must have crumbled out from under. That was it. attempted murder. Something else to repair. <sighs> Bell Fare. Something else to repair. I am glad you are all right, of course. Of course. Yeah, that's not that's very believable. I'll stop pestering you now. Padronissimo. Padronissimo. Well, can we look at the uh site of the so called crumbling roof? <laughs> I don't think we can. <laughs> I can't believe how last second I got out of the way for that. Yeah, it really looked like you were dead. <laughs> okay. Let's get this cat suit. This is gonna be pog. So we're already no longer Samantha Quick. <laughs> we should have just put on the skeleton mask. Um. So like, how would we explain this? <laughs> Dancy puts on cat ears. Let's do it. <laughs> but. Why? What does that add? It looks good with the mask. <laughs> no. Yeah. That's a good look. This is this is a little too much for me, her Dude, interactive. She must be burning up though. Yeah, like that's, this is probably very hot. Okay. How do we look, guys? It's, yeah, it's my carnival costume. What do you think of it? Hello, Nancy. I'll let you get back to work. <laughs> Nothing you said. He's just trying to contain himself. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh god, this this shit just looks spooky. You can like see Nancy's frame. Oh look oh, at that! Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Nancy's current fit. Could she wear it to bed? Oh, she's got drip. That's not bad. I can't go to bed. I've got that too is much to do. Though. We we have a phone in this room, don't we? Yeah. Maybe this is how we'll figure out progression. Wait, where are our phone numbers? Nobody to dial. Mm. But. We always have phone numbers. Do I have to look them up manually through here? That's terrible. We do. That's horrible. Is this... This might be the only game where we have to do that. This might also be the longest phone numbers we have ever had to dial. Look at no, this. No, I, I think there's been 15 digits. There this there... might be 15 digits. Mm -mm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, 11, 12. It's like 12. It's 13. Prudence time. Wait, isn't it like midnight in the States? Hello, Ms. Rutherford. Mm. This is... I know who this is. It says so right on my phone. But if you're calling because yet another thingamajiggy has supposed a woozy watts it there in the casa, you might as well hang up right now. The kind of she's not worth yours, working for. I don't care what she's paying us. by all your penny pinching posturing. I'll not give you one more cent for repairs. Penny pinching posturing. But this isn't Margarita. It's Nancy Drew. Nonsense. If you Nancy Drew, my phone would say Nancy Drew, but it doesn't. It says Margarita Foberg, just as clear as day. You ever wanted uh, Rutherford and Hawk just to like speak things. to each other? It's a true miracle. That conversation of has potential to end the world. It says Margarita would be Foberg frightening. because I'm calling from the Canas Costa. It's not really a miracle, Miss Rutherford. It's just caller ID. Enough, Margarita. I insist you drop this silly ruse right now. And whatever have you done with that wonderful Italian accent of yours? I dare say it was your most charming feature. Now you sound she like has a to be American pulling teenager. Right. Would you stop waving your arms like that? It's enormously distracting. Is she the worst phone contact of all time? Maybe. I know that there are some <laughs> prudent <laughs> sympathizers out there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Could be a controversial comment. She just gets on my nerves way too quickly. Nancy? Yes, Miss Rutherford, it's me, Nancy Drew. I just thought I'd... I guess this is the first time checking in with her. No, she called us right at the beginning, didn't she? I thought, I thought so. But she's acting all like that never happened. Your 
what generation says is up. Good, good phone call, Prudence. <laughs> right, so I'm really glad we took the time to do that. Should we call Ned and let him know that there's this creepy guy named Colin prowling around us? I think so. Ned has the right to know that, as our boyfriend, after all. Yeah. If you haven't seen our most recent top 10, everybody, I highly encourage you to check it out, where we recap how Nancy is a horrible girlfriend. <laughs> yes, the uh, most evil Nancy moments. Oh, man. Hello? Hi, Ned. Or should I say, buongiorno? Hey, Ned. I was buongiorno. hoping you'd call. Oh, he was hoping we'd call. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Sort of. I mean... I'm in Bayport, staying at Frank and Joe's, just like you Oh, arranged. he's in Bayport. You sound funny. What's wrong? Hardy Boy's Hardy name drop. Great. Hmm. It's just that, well, Can we get a Chet Morton reference up in here? <laughs> what the happened to your farmer car? <laughs> yeah, with his <laughs> spunky old jalopy. <laughs> oh, no, he's been tinkering with it. <laughs> Only real ones are the Hardy Boy's name Disassembling the engine and possibly the Grosset and Dunlap moment. Parts all over that closet in the basement he calls his workshop. Yes. He's been tinkering with it. This is yeah, funny. Joe's destroying Ned's car. Whatever you do, don't let Joe do any tinkering. I, I didn't know that's what you meant. He said he knew exactly how to fix that funny noise my car's been making, so I said, great. I thought he knew what he was doing. He does Guns, know what uh, he's it's doing. It's like my friend he's Justin with PCs. It's going to half a century to do it. <laughs> but hey, you're taking mass transit. That's good. Yeah, I know. Mm. I'm fine. And I'm sure my car will Thank be him for the locket. So how's it going there? Pretty good. No, um, the locket, James. Okay, we'll start hey, with that. Before I forget, thanks again for the locket. I haven't taken it off since you put it on me there at the airport. Good. That was kind of the idea. I just wanted you to have a little reminder of home. Well, more specifically, Aww. of me. I don't need That's any reminders now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It really is beautiful. Even the guy I sat next to on the plane over here who played solitaire the whole way liked it. It passed the semi-neurotic but otherwise thoroughly impartial geek test? Yes. Huh. That's a weird detail, Nancy. Guy she sat next to on the plane who played solitaire. The palazzo where I'm staying, the Canas Costa, has some beautiful artwork in it. Some of which is being restored by this guy from England who's kind of a head case. A head case? How so? He's your typical temperamental He's artist, very sensitive. Horrible. You have to be real careful what you say and do around him or he'll go off on you. And And you there's only one option. He forces okay. everyone who <laughs> talks to him to watch the slideshow on mosaic tiles that is boring beyond belief. Why does it even and make you pick that conversation topic? I don't know. <laughs> He's deliberately it's making weird. people avoid him because he's doing something he doesn't want anyone to know about. Or maybe he's just clueless. Which reminds me. Hey Joe? Frank called while you're oh, in the boy. garage. Said to remind you to pick up the basketball tickets. Oh, shoot. I almost forgot. Thanks. Sorry, Nancy. <laughs> Where were we? Uh... Can we can we legally tell him this? I feel like there's probably an NDA in the works there. Yeah, I I would be curious because we definitely can't talk about it. There's got to be a security clearance. Yeah, this phone's probably tapped. What assignment is? You bet. I'm supposed to do surveillance on a guy named Antonio. <laughs> oh my Bongo. gosh, Nancy. Surveillance? Security wow. clearance. The police is Nancy's going to get assassinated right now. You're right next to an open to window, Nancy. <laughs> me every time they see him go into his can't talk about so this. I can watch him through binoculars from the roof of the place where I'm staying and report in if he does anything suspicious. You don't know if this is an so unbugged line. anything suspicious? If you call receiving messages carried by pigeons suspicious, then yes, he sure has. He's using pigeons <laughs> to communicate with someone in this day and age? Well, if he is up to something and thinks the police may be tapping his phone, which they are, it actually kind of makes sense. And this phone's probably tapped too. So yeah. Messy. That's the word. Huh. Oh, yeah, this, this is going to be segue. This is going to be a fun one you to know explain the saying, to him. It takes a thief to catch a thief. Yeah. Well, in order to get in good with this guy named Enrico Tazza, who may be fencing stuff for the Phantom. I have to steal a very heavily guarded sapphire from someone's palazzo. You have to steal something? The police are in on this, right? No. Don't you think you should tell them? It wouldn't change anything. I'm still gonna do it. Nancy, you are talking about committing a crime. Ned, I know <laughs> what I'm doing. Just let the police know what you're doing. That's all I ask. Okay, that's a fair complaint, Nedgar, but I think we're good. Do we want to tell him these things, too? Or... 
Uh, we don't need to. Wait, what's the breaking news? Uh, oh, this is us finding the Yolda Tori chocolate box. Mm. So we think that Yolda Tori is someone at the car. Breaking, breaking news. news! It looks like one of the people <laughs> with Antonio Bongo has been secretly communicating. This just happened, Ned, while we were on the phone. The I just put this together. <laughs> the person who's been orchestrating all the heists the Phantom has pulled. You mean one of your commates could be a major criminal? Yes. Comate. Well, you don't have to sound so happy about it. I'm not happy. I'm just excited. You know, nervous. Uh huh. <laughs> so what happens now? The GDIF wanted me to plant bugs on everyone at the car. That way, if the police turn up something solid against one of them, they can activate their bug, track them down, and make an arrest. I liked it a lot better mm. when all you had to do was watch somebody through binoculars. Yeah, that was 30 seconds ago, according to you. <laughs> uh, well, we don't need to tell him about Germany woman, so Time let's get to, to it. Play detective. Tell Joe I said hi. Isn't she from Austria? Mm -hmm. Nancy's got that backwards doing. done. Take care. Yeah, Bye. I was just thinking that, too. Awesome. Well, hey, during that phone call, I thought of something, and that is that maybe while we wait for Sophia to clue us in on whoever Gina is, maybe the chess servers are back up in Fongo's office. Oh, I forgot that. Yeah, because uh, we are still abiding by the spoiler punishment system, and this could uh, this could get us there. Mm -hmm. It's a tough puzzle. What kind of peppers are those again? Chili de arbols. Uh, they're the spicier of the varieties. Lots and lots of peppers in them. How many Scoville? Uh, anywhere between like ten to 30,000. I forget the exact number. It's not crazy. It's It tastes like a lot when you eat them, though. Oh, I'm sure. Especially because they're so dry. If you put them in some olive oil first, they, they actually are a little more stomachable. Why? You saute them. You know, cook some of the seeds out. Hmm. I don't know. I, I actually put them in, like, hot spicy pasta sauce like that. It's pretty good. This has been cooking with Overholt. <laughs> I forgot we did a cooking video once with Kaylee. The Shadow Ranch cake. That was fun. Bro, you're doing everything. I know I'm doing it wrong. Just let me finish it wrong. Okay. Please tell me that this is a lead or else I am totally stumped. That's... I don't know why we can't go to the desk from that side. Oh, shoot. Bongo's on his Are way. Are you... Dude, all... We literally just got in here. He's unlocking the door. Dude goes up the steps two at a time. Oh, my God. Well, what's happening now? I thought he was in a different outfit. Yeah. He's dressed like a gangster now. Yeah. File drawer opening and closing. Hmm. Uh. So what would Nancy's, like, excuse be if she was caught right now? <laughs> Meow. <laughs> she just turns into Ferris. <laughs> God, okay. I, th I think that he's gone. Unless he was, like, opened and shut the door and made it sound like he wasn't leaving. Okay, he just put something in a file cabinet. Is that one of the drawers on his desk? No? Well, which drawer is it? Is it one of these? No, it's not Mr. Top. <laughs> he did not just put in Mr. Topham's robot. They would not make a big deal out of that. The scope of cards are in that one. Could be that. <laughs> Some Jane Pendleton stuff. Kitty cat. Okay, I guess it was none of these. Yeah, those are just the scope Wait, of cards. Is there nothing on the right side? Wait a second. Another card is missing. This ah. is what he did. He didn't lock it. He. Which card did he take, though? Did he take the one of chalices or the... I think he took the eight on the uh, valets. Uh -huh. That's uh, pretty suspicious, actually. I there... mean, do we report that to... We probably should, but there must be a significance as to why that happened. Real quick, let's uh, see if the chess servers are back up. I am curious about this. It was Il Capitano. I think no cap. Yeah, there we go. Chess! Wouldn't... Gina's chestboard server. Oh my gosh. Holy shit! We did it. We figured it out. I so knew we'd heard that name somewhere. This is how we're supposed to coordinate the heist. Is yes, through chess. Yes, that's how we do it. Hello, Il Capitano. How about a nice game of chess? You play white. Uh, C. Yes, that. Okay. <laughs> we can, can only, only do three. Three letters? 
Jamie, I think he just wants us to go straight into making moves. <laughs> We're supposed to have this banter. Oh, you're right. That that would make more sense. Okay. Wow. Chessboard puzzle. Um, this is a little scary. We've never solved this legitimately before. Yeah. So I think we want to spell out Palazzo Zatare because that is where we want this next big gig going on. So pull out the chess. Yeah, this thing. Now is he also contributing? It's just we're we're spelling it out just by ourselves by our own moves. Okay, that's helpful. Okay, yeah, this right here. So we're not actually playing a coherent game of chess. Like pieces are gonna be moving all over the board, is what I'm guessing. Yeah, it's not gonna be focused on trying to win. <laughs> yeah. Um. So the board is bisected, of course, and we're just gonna be playing with our side of the board. So it's gonna be begin with numbers. No, no, it begins with a letter, I think. Okay, no, no, no. It'll be first begin with a capital letter for what piece we are moving. That's um a little confusing. Mm. The notation PE5 means pawn has been moved into the square identified as E5. And E5 would be fifth column E. Fifth row, my bad. So oh, can't we just spell it out with like this? this here i think so yeah but we probably do have to notate the piece if we're uh doing something else okay let's give it a try let's um start off maybe well, first of all how do we spell it let's write it down palazzo's i know how to spell zetere but i'm not sure if we need to say palazzo too can we just call our bestie real quick at the i know i think we found some good seriously yeah, she must be busy. you're our lifeline what if we just got caught by fongo <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't know if we're if I'm ready for this. Let's look at how they've played it. No, that's not a real one. Okay, so... <laughs> You're trying to say yes. Okay. What, See. <laughs> what, what chess place begins with a B? Is there bishop. A, bishop, you're right. Okay. Bishop to G4. Bishop, king... King to A1. N is... Uh, not a knight, is it? No, it wouldn't. Well, the K could be a knight. Oh, it's true. It's probably it's probably in the book what the difference between knight and yeah, king is. Uh, yeah, I'll bet that knight is denoted with an N because the K would not the work because there's a king also. Let's let's confirm that real quick. Yeah, that sounds right, though. It's the first book, Jameson. Uh, Have you ever played an Nancy Drew game? <laughs> sorry. I've actually never gotten used to that. <laughs> this uh, is a blind blazer. N for knight, yeah. Yeah. Despite it beginning with a silent K. Okay, let's let's consider this real quick. So, if he, they, he said you play white, right? So yes. This, that means we yeah. start on the top of the board, bottom of the board. I forget. Also, is he also contributing and spelling out a word with his moves, or is he just doing meaningful, meaningless bullshit until He's we spell probably something? probably doing meaningless bullshit. <laughs> He's just moving the same pawn back and forth repeatedly. Yeah. Um, okay, no, white starts on the bottom. We do start on the bottom. Okay. Maybe we should take some pictures of this stuff to refer back and forth. Through. It would have to be like a horse or something. Knight. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. So, wait, no, that was the Krollmeister. Wait. It's extremely simplistic. Left to right from the top to bottom. Okay, wait, let's confirm something else real quick. There was an email, or the first thing they started with. Uh, Scaramucci says, I prefer standard algebraic, but Capitano uses Krollmeister. So, does this mean they were using algebraic or Krollmeister in these transcripts? Don't tell me we have to try it twice. Well, no, because we can probably figure it out. Uh, what is algebraic? It's the first one that they talk about is algebraic. Most popular method of describing recording chess moves is algebraic notation. Uh, chessboard is seen as a grid in which the columns are identified. The player moving the white pieces is always on the bottom. In okay. this way, each square to which a piece can be moved has a name. For instance, the squares upon which the queens are placed at the beginning of the game are D1 and D8. See? It's mm -hmm. it's the... Yeah, because you can see from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, to identify which piece is being moved, 
notation begins with a capital letter. So it's three letters. Then you type out the lowercase letter of which column it's in, and then the numeral of which row it's in. So this gives you, like, BH3. I think we just have to, like, take a little bit of time to, like, get each letter and then kind of transcribe its moves. And then... Yeah. Okay, let's let's see if the, he spits out anything at us if we try this. So he says, you play white. And so... I'm assuming the, it's not actually going to be, like, a real game of chess as we do this. So let's try to spell out a P first for Palazzo. Well, clearly it's not a real game of chess. Yeah, so let's just start with Palazzo or just a P. Wait, wait a second. No, that can't work because it's got to be Krollmeister. Because you can't get any alphabet letters past H in the algebraic one. Then why would he prefer oh, algebraic? Oh, no, 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 no. I, th I think... I think we're using algebraic to move the pieces, but we're using the Krollmeister alphabet to determine which one is what. Oh, this is tricky. This is so tricky. I don't know if we're ready to, to start this today. Wait, but we can't even do... We can't spell anything in algebraic. It would have to be Krollmeister. But then I don't understand why Scaramuccia prefers algebraic. What I'm, what I'm saying is that we, mo we notate the pieces. We notate all our moves with algebraic and then once they're all done he's gonna go through with this little guide right here and read what each letter is judging on where we put the pieces okay so let's try that so if we wanted to try this out let's say we start off with like a bishop so let's say b one b one b capital b lowercase b and then one z he said okay. bh4 it's helpful that Nancy says the letter. Yeah. Okay. So he says BH4. What is, is... Is that relevant, though? B... H... Wait, no. Okay, so that's just what he's moving. H4 is that one right there. Okay, I don't think his pieces matter at all. No, Let's no. just try spelling Zetere. So, that would be, Zetere is going to be, um... So we need the A. Um, A4. Can it just be a pawn moved there? I guess so, yeah. So let's try P-A-4. A. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so N-D-1. You can just... Nancy drew one! <laughs> Nancy drew one, that's, yeah! Let's go! Okay, T. Go, no, next page over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is going to be... Well, there's a pawn there right now. So we can Do just... We just type that in twice? I guess so, yeah. Uh, D, it's going to be P, D, 2, if we want to get T in there. And we have to, yeah. T. Okay, same thing. P, D, T. And then A again? Uh, oh shit. Now I'm forgetting if it was an E or an A. In Zatare. Don't we? It should be in our observations, isn't it? It has to be. Palazzo Zatare. It is an E. Oh, okay. Good call. Okay. So E, R, E. Easy enough. I'm going to be triggered, though, if it makes us do the Palazzo part. It's e. listed as Zatare on the map. So E is going to be E. You can just move four. up. Four. So Wait. P, E, four. Wait. Yeah. E four. E. Okay. R. I mean, technically, just. Dude, what is Fonger gonna do when he comes back and, and sees see someone had a conversation? Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking that he's gonna see somebody's playing chess. <laughs> it's a okay. pawn. R. You can also move. No, you can't move a bishop there, can you? No, because bishops are diagonal only. I think. Yeah, but is the okay. Maybe I'm not sure. Let's just do pawn. Pawn's been working yeah. so far. So let's do B. No, it's going to be, yeah, capital B, no, P, B, 2. Mm -hmm. R. Okay, and, then and then you can just do P, E, 4 again, right? P, E, 4. E. Moment of truth. Oh my Holy gosh. Holy shit, did we do it? Great game. It reminds me of a great place to play chess. I will leave you some information on it in a bottle. Holy near the recycling shit. bin at the Rialto Market tomorrow morning. Oh my god. That is the first time we've ever done that puzzle right. That wasn't bad either. Like no, that, that was a good puzzle. Yeah. That was a good puzzle. It just was a lot of reading 
and there's a little bit of red herring in there with the whole Krollmeister and Algebra controversy, because <laughs> you're supposed to use both of them in conjunction, and the game doesn't tell you that. That's funny. You know, That's <laughs> slick. It's just, it just looks so funny. That, like, it was a game of just pawns moving, and it's a game. Pawns making illegal moves, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Rialto Market tomorrow morning. And he's so gonna... can we finally get some shut eye? I think so. This That's got to be a scripted nightfall. Uh, I hope so. Damn, that's so cool. Tomorrow is, is, is D-Day. That's the heist. Mm -hmm. It's going on. The team is getting put together. Your skills are required for a job. <laughs> My skills are required for a job. Final. You sure could, Nancy. Man, but Hopefully once we get no there, there could dreams. be. Oh yeah, bad dreams. Yeah. Oh, oh my ah! goodness! It's Shrek. <laughs> oh my God! It's half of Shrek. What's oh, that's full of Shrek. Scarier. That's all oh of Shrek. Oh my God! <laughs> I have. Your locket's okay. gone. He gets. No. Style sure. points, but oh Jesus, he took the locket. He took Nancy's locket. We just told Ned about that. What the hell? Phantom strikes again. Well, it's kind of like a game over. Consumption sequence, of tap water on the rise. Found Dude, no what the hell? <laughs> I mean, there Give is me one me suspect who's shown extreme interest in her locket. But... Well, hang on. This confirms that uh, uh Helena is not the Phantom. Yeah. Since you know we have seen them both in the same room. That's true. <laughs> It also confirms it's not Colin or Margarita because we clearly saw the dude's face and it was not Believe me, Miss Rutherford, after what happened last night, I'm more determined than ever to catch this guy. Well, having that That's it. I'm calling a bone scientist. Are you alright? Oh no! I mean the fashion police, dear! Okay, you shut the hell up. See what my assistant decided to wear today! Definitely not a Minette originale! Minette name drop? Look at that. Thank yeah. heaven she came in the back door! If the neighbors saw, oh, the scandal! Enough tomfoolery! Off with you, Nancy! That rogue has stolen quite enough! I insist you find him forthwith! Well, um, that was a... Uh, Significant strides were made today. They sure were. And tomorrow... Tomorrow it, the heist... Oh, today the heist goes down. Today it's on. It's going down. <laughs>